Alrighty. Next up, we'll be doing the uh, eyes and uh, trash rack glow. And if there's a, any opportunity, I'm going to go get the. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll probably start doing the uh, dry brushing. But, anyways. So this is why I really like the uh, the new Tesseract glow because it's pretty much like a weird combination of contrast and a uh, shade. That goes on yellow, and where it settles, it's green. But, anyways, the one thing I've uh, been trying to figure out, stepdaughter has this weird habit of, she likes for something, me or her mom will okay it, and she starts crying. Like we said no. Like, granted, there's like a lot of stuff we say no just because uh, we're too busy, but... It's, it gets weirder when it's like, we say yes, it's okay. You can go do it. And she starts crying. It's weird. But. Probably something I need to ask my mom about. Figure out what's going on. Have you noticed in the background, I actually did have a few, uh. Project swapped out. Trying to get like some of the back catalog done. They work on the back, some of the back catalog. It's like, except our T Rex is nearly complete. I just need to do uh, shading for that. I got a uh, swamp collar shaman. With the minion, got a uh, Jade Fire Chieftain, and I'm doing the uh, Black Orc uh, paint scheme, and that's just what's on here. But. Let's see, we're going to go for the uh, first round of dry brushing. We are going to go so tech green. Let's try to see what else we can do with the uh, dry brushing. I would do Troll Slayer, Skink Blue, Impetor Children, and uh, Gene Sealer for the uh, corals. And the extra trick is going to be not, not to do too many. But I try to emphasize that there are different corals in the uh, mix. And I'm still trying to get what little uh, 
spots that I've uh, been able to re get with the uh, Hicks Wraith Flame. I probably should have cleaned the brush more. Again. Okay, that is actually uh, a little tiny bit better. Looks like I need to clean the brush a bit more. There we go. You gotta be careful around the uh, skeleton. We got a couple of uh, Skeleton parts, ooh, new. So it is the, uh, the Patrick Sellers Relief Eggs today. Little hunga hanga dinga. Yeah, funny fact. You want an obscure holiday that's actually, uh, obscure for your location? Relief Eggs today. Because I keep forgetting that. Oh, yeah. Today is Leif Vedrickson Day. I should go to Viking sometime. Yeah. Well, that looks like I'm already committed to, uh, Getting the skink blue doesn't look like it's showing up, but I think it's part of it's like I actually had this uh, open uh, all night once. Those more you can you can probably tell from the sides it's more spongy than it is a uh, paint. So it looks like the uh, skink blue is a kind of a bust. Like I can tell, but I'm not sure it's going to show up well in the pictures. But let's sh we will get get this done. Hill or high water? Yeah, it is like I'm still trying to pray whether or not I don't want to go see how the wind kills. Like, I'll at least give him this that what Jimmy Lee Curtis said, said was a one off thing. Not really what, what he should be doing because you want to go. Watch my movie, not if you don't watch my not if you don't watch your movie, you're a problem person. It's a slasher movie, Jamie. We're all the problem people. We're all the problem people. 
because this is the, the one thing that really ticks me off with the Zarka trying to make monsters political. They're not, or the monsters is not the patriarchy. We all are the monsters. They are our dark sides, our shadow, what we are at our worst. And it gets more annoying that she almost politicized all of them. Took the freaking Mongolian death worm to go, okay, we can have an actual apolitical episode and not have to work in not have to quote patriarchy or sexism Ugh, path pathetic but it is PBS and I think that's gonna be it with the uh, corals Hope we get some of the woods started with Gortho Brown. I'm really able to use uh, folk arts. Uh, Gilded Oak. But again. This is where we get into the, uh, the logic that these ships are going to be underwater for quite a while. So having pristine wood would be a little bit advantageous. Especially if you get something that's going to be uh, sitting idle for like a good while underwater. That's gonna be probably multiple uh, things since uh, we got a kiddo to uh, help look after. Actually, what if I try bigger brush? I knock it out faster. Now we're gonna let that dry. All right, let's go complete round one of the uh, dry brushing. So that'll be it for this one.